Straight ahead, we've got a good one in store between the Orlando Orbits and the Columbus Caps. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Orlando Orbits and the Columbus Cavs. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. We got this. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, we're talking about ordering dinner, ordering some snacks. I was just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Here's Baker, operating from the gun. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. On third and two, Baker. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Looking to throw. Jefferson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. 
They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Second and nine now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And they bring their punter out there now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. That's taken it around the 40. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second and two. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Off play action, Baker. Wide open receiver complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. To throw is Baker. From the gun, he'll throw. This will be caught at about the five. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Second and four. And it's caught. Touchdown from four yards out as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Five plays there on that drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. 
They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now, this will go for five up to the 33. Looking to throw on second down. Jefferson throwing the out route incomplete. That's Carson. 11 yards there, first down. They'll run on first down. Sherwood had a good burst there, gets him seven up to midfield. On second down, Sherwood. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. To throw on second down. Jefferson. Going to throw right side here. Complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Back to throw. Jefferson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. From the gun, Jefferson. Got a man, it's Ross, complete. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and ten, Jefferson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the football. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Second and 13. And this is incomplete. 
Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So with fourth down looming, Dan Quinn sends out his field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. You sound like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, Beer. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Looking to throw. Baker. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sensed that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Check 99, check 99. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Baker now, off play action. Looking middle and it's incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might. And this is going to be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, why do you go out and spend a first-round pick on a defensive back? Plays like that. The rookie gets his first interception. You have to have guys who can limit the other team's number of plays run and possessions. And no better way than an interception. And what a great way to break into the league. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Getting the sense Charles are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Hey. 
Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They run the counter. Sherwood, about three yards there to the 27. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. Seven three, the score on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Just like that. Just like that. Back to throw. Jefferson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown, and his guys have taken the lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field, but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked-up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Point after, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to seven. That time, a six play drive. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. Now Charles, it's the second quarter. Your team's losing. You're not playing well as the quarterback, but like I said, it's the second quarter. So how worried right now are you? You're concerned but you're not panicked because you know there's still an opportunity. No one's excited about his stat line right now. One touchdown pass, okay, that's cool, but he's throwing an interception as well. Can he eliminate the mistakes and keep making the positive plays, the good plays? That's what they're looking for from him. Time to find out if he can do just that. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. Second and three. Over the middle complete. It's Strickland. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looking to throw. Baker going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Call that a gain of 11. Back to throw. Baker toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a give, right side, Beer. And he's gonna be met at about the 43. It's a gain of about three, but it's gonna leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Now Baker to throw on third down. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything, nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Now is the punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. 
A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Looking to throw on second down. Jefferson going deep downfield for Ross. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here, so for me... That'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it, then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy. Energy create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Give him 32 on the play. Well, that'll help get you out of danger. So much for playing it conservatively back towards your own goal line. That aggressive mentality, sometimes you can use it, and they did there against a defense who probably thought to themselves, there's no way they take a shot here this deep in their own territory. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Baker to throw on second down. And he will find his man on the outside. 11 yards there, first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. False start, offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they Ready, saw it. Might have been a little 15, discussion five, down there. Five, Bad five, guys five, coming, pick five, them up, pick them up. Switch, and someone switch, jumped. Switch, 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 switch. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go you as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Ready up. 
So now they operate back from their side of the field here. Second and long. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Kennedy. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, of that marker. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. But there is a flag down. He might get another shot at this. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You yeah. did it. I had to. Well, forget the field goal to try to tie this thing. They'll have a chance to take the lead here with first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. First down. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Start offense. Understandable we're going to see some of this first game of the year in a penalty. Yeah, we are, and don't forget the emotion of it all as well. I mean, they've been building to this crescendo the entire off. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they the want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Looking to throw, Jefferson, and that is incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. 
Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. A gain of three, second down. Here's Baker looking to throw on second down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. To throw is Baker from the gun on third down. Over the middle complete. That's Kennedy. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Go now. Eight, three. 50 the mic. 50 the mic. We ain't giving them nothing to do. Ready, ready? Baker now. Throwing on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Here we go on second and 12. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Back to throw. Baker. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. So here is the home side to take over on offense. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So that one will be accepted. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Operating from the gun. Baker, quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. 
Now a man open down the middle of the field. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Baker operating from the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Strickland. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Second down and inches. And his throw here is incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This quarterback now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin our trip around the NFL with an interesting one right off the bat. And in the second quarter, it's the Vikings who are out on top. The Vikings looking to get their season off on the right foot. They've got the lead on the road. We'll stay in the NFC South. We head to Carolina to check on the Panthers. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting New Orleans Saints. The Panthers trying to start the season right and is looking good so far at home. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And there is a flag as he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. But who's this going to be against? Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. And yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. So the face mask gets him a free 15 to start the drive. Check, 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 check. Now they'll run on the draw. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. From the gun, Jefferson. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. They'll run on first down. Sherwood. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Sherwood. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It goes for a gain of ten, and it's a first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. This quarterback now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. Looking to throw. Jefferson. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. Second and 10. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Back to throw. Jefferson, he wants it all for the end zone. As his guys are in for six. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. Well, that was the fly route for a touchdown. And since he caught that one and scored it, I got to tell the story. Before the game, we were standing there. He was running deep routes, dropped one. It bounced up and just hit me right in the gut. And I said, come on, man. But there, there was no drop. Yeah, you okay now? I'm good. All right, I'm good. good. We got the ice pack up here. You're, you're just fine. What I loved about it was the subtlety of the route because everyone knows he's the fast. They're going to play him for that review. route first and foremost. But sometimes it's a head fake. It's varying your speed off the line of scrimmage. It's giving the defensive back different angles to think about. Is he going inside? Is he going outside? And then, as you noted, he just took off past him. Oops, there he goes again. Touchdown, Columbus. The kicker on for the point after. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Point after, right down the middle. And that will put them on top here in the third. So that drives seven plays in length. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. 50, play. Hey, let's get, let's get. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. False Brandon, start. the lineman, offense. certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll keep it on the ground. Beer, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Baker, 
to throw on second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Last stop! Last stop! Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. Here's Baker from the gun on third down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Well, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And two stop. You ain't going nowhere. Tight end right. Tight end right. He's <laughs> good. They'll keep it on the ground. Beer. And he stopped immediately there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. To throw is Baker on third down. Throw left side complete. That's Strickland. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. screen pass that's complete and he will take this one in for a touchdown from 17 yards out and his guys are going to retake the lead there are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. So the call is made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. They're going to try and run, and he is not going to make it to the goal line. So the defense holds, and this remains a five-point game. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On second down now, Sherwood. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, show that he's right. Hey, 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He's not going to get me. Looking to throw. Jefferson. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Operating from the gun. Jefferson. Got a man open, it's Ross. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake. Jefferson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, Jefferson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Operating from the gun, Jefferson. And an alley to run. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. down Sherwood and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13 two yards on the pick up there it'll be second and eight off play action Jefferson on the move to his left and he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Jefferson. And this is going to be intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. 
Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if you can drive the bus here again on this drive. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. The pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. From the gun on third down, Baker throwing right, and that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. That catch for his career is number 589, so 11 away from 600, but it also right now ties him with Hall of Famer Fred Boletnikoff. And we remember Fred Boletnikoff well because of the way he went about his business in catching the football. And we're seeing something similar here. Someone who runs precise routes, has excellent hands, and knows how to get the ball to the end zone. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Beer. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Baker now from the gun, he'll throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Baker. This is caught, and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown from 17 yards out. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here we go. Six, 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 six,
Come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. Right. Here's a second and seven. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Throwing on first down. Jefferson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Give him seven on the play. And that'll make it a second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Nine yards to pick up there. And it's a first down. On first down. Jefferson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 12 yards there and a first down. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown as his guys are back within a single score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. get an extra look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count the extra point splits the uprights and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter so that drive goes eight plays a five point game now as here comes the kickoff this fielded at the two a marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Face mask. Defense. Boy, tight game like this. Fourth quarter, personal foul penalties. A no, no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high. The tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. The face mask moves them all the way out past the 40 now for first down. Let's go, Heavy. what you got? What you got, Heavy? Now Baker off the play fake. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine Baker off play action 
Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Back to throw. Baker. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Trailing in the fourth, this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Baker, operating from the gun. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. On second down, it's Snell. He takes it to the 15. A nice display of power. That gives him a nice pickup. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. To throw is Baker from the gun on third down. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And this one is right through. And that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something, because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. On third down, Jefferson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. Fielded at about the 28. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And possession will switch hands first and 10. 
So here are visitors to take over on offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. He's going to wind up and air it out. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. So they bring out their punter. He's been terrific so far. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of it's... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. I'm going to hit you all day. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying <laughs> to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks. And the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Off play action. Jefferson steps away. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Looking to throw. Jefferson. Now they go screen. It's complete. He's got room to run past the 20 as he's all the way up to the 24-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's taken to the 26. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Baker now looking to throw on second down. He's got his man on the crossing route. 
Seven yards there and a first down. On first and ten, Baker firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Twelve yards as they get to reset the sticks. They'll run on first down. Beer. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. They'll keep it on the ground. Beer. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Now Baker to throw on third down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. 18, Gator. I know you ain't got it. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the passer, defense. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe, and now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. His pass caught at the four. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and goal from inside the five. Now a handoff here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Get it. They'll keep it on the ground. Beer, and he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? Little work still to do, though. Extra point attempt here still to come. And the lead is up to 15 now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. 
down on the scoreboard. 56 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Here we, here we go, D. Here, here we go. Throwing on first down. Jefferson finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Jefferson, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. From the gun on third down, Jefferson. And that will be incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores, they have to try and make something good happen. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Looking to throw. Jefferson, he's going to let it, and this will be caught at the 30. And all the way down to the 26. Roughing the passer, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. He's going to flip one out here to his running back, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Orlando, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.